morning, first grade friends. Today we are going to be taking a look at two Goldilocks books, but we are going to break it down into about three different lessons. So this is going to be uh, lesson six. We are going to look again at characters and some events that are happening in the story. And unfortunately, I don't have any Goldilocks books here at home, so I am going to share some from YouTube that are really good reads. So here you go and enjoy. Today I'm reading Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there was a family of bears, Mommy Bear, Daddy Bear, and Baby Bear. One morning, Mommy Bear said, Father, this porch is much too hot. Never mind, dear, said Daddy Bear. Let's go for a stroll while it cools. But that day, as they were leaving, a little girl named Goldilocks came by, and goodness, was she hungry. Goldilocks walked straight into the bear's kitchen. Mmm. That porridge smells good, she said. She didn't wonder. She didn't ask. She stuck a spoon into the biggest bowl and swallowed an enormous mouthful. Ugh, she cried. Disgusting and cold. Then she dipped a spoon into the middle-sized bowl. Ugh, eek, boiling hot. Last of all, she plunged a spoon into the littlest bowl. Mmm, she sighed. Yummy, she cried. This is my kind of porridge. It was exactly right. So she ate the whole thing. After nosing through the shelves, Goldilocks found something to read. Now I need somewhere to sit, she said. She didn't wonder. She didn't ask. She plonked herself down on the biggest chair. Yelp, she cried. What a horrible, hard chair. She tried to get comfy in the middle-sized chair. Oh, too soft, awful, she groaned as she sank into the cushions. At last, she spotted the smallest chair. Ah, she sighed. Bravo, she cried. This is my But, snap, crack, it broke into pieces. Stupid thing, said Goldilocks, shaking out her hair. I suppose, she said, there are beds upstairs. She didn't wonder, she didn't ask. She climbed onto the biggest bed. Terrible, cried Goldilocks. It's much too hard. She leaped onto the middle-sized bed. Oh, save me, she moaned. It's so stiflingly, smotheringly, suffocatingly soft. There's got to be something that's just right for me, she grumbled. And what did she see? Ooh, she sighed. Bullseye, she cried. Now that's my kind of bed. It wasn't too hard and it wasn't too soft. It was as right as right could be. Goldilocks climbed in. Meanwhile, the family of bears had arrived back home. I'm hungry, said Daddy Bear. I'm starving, said Mommy Bear. And I'm absolutely ravenous, said Baby Bear. But... Hey, roared Daddy Bear, someone's been eating my porridge. Oh my, gasped Mommy Bear, someone's been eating my porridge. Where's mine, squealed Baby Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge and they've eaten it all up, cried Baby Bear. Oh my poor darling, gasped Mommy Bear. Then Daddy Bear noticed his chair. It wasn't how he'd left it. Someone's been sitting in my chair, he roared. Oh my goodness, 
gasped Mommy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Mommy, cried Baby Bear, look. Someone's been sitting in my chair and they've broken it all up. That someone is a hooligan and a thief, growled Daddy Bear. And if I find them, they're going to be trouble. Daddy Bear marched up the stairs. Mommy Bear and Baby Bear tiptoed up behind him. Upstairs, things were just as bad. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, roared Daddy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, gasped Mommy Bear. Baby Bear ran to his room. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Baby Bear, and she's still in it. I don't believe it, growled Daddy Bear. It can't be true, gasped Mommy Bear. But before anyone could say another word, Goldilocks leaped out of bed. She was so frightened her hair stood on end. Help, help, save me, she screamed and ran away. The three bears laughed and laughed and laughed. I'll never know how a little girl like that could be so naughty, said Mommy Bear. Goldilocks ran all the way home where she hid under her bed and didn't come out for a week. And she never poked her nose in other people's houses again. The end. All right, my little. Okay, friends, <clears throat> we are back again. And we have some questions about Goldilocks story. The Goldilocks story <clears throat> had a lot of things. You need to not look at the colored record in places. We are just going to talk about the questions. Where was Goldilocks going when she came upon the bear's home? Where is the bear's home located? What did Goldilocks do when she arrived at the bear's home? What did Goldilocks eat at the bear's house? What did Goldilocks do when she saw the bears? And what did Goldilocks sit in at the bear's house? And lastly, what did Goldilocks sleep in at the bear's house? So I want you to think about those questions. You can stop the video here if you want to think about what has happened. And if you can't answer the questions, you might want to go back and listen to the story again. So we are through for today. This is just looking at Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Tomorrow we are going to be looking at a story called Goldie and the Three Bears. <clears throat> so that has a little bit of differences in it. So the riddle that I have for you today is called What Vegetable Has Eyes But Cannot See? That would be a potato. Hey friends, have a great day. I'll be seeing you for lesson seven. We'll be looking at Goldie and the Three Bears.